Hey everybody, welcome back to Opening Act. My name is Keo Kosha and today we are opening up this pair of Retro Air Max. Okay, if it's your first time here, please do click the subscribe button. That does go a long way for us. We are doing a giveaway for all of our subscribers and you do have to leave a comment though. So leave a comment and comment with your t-shirt size and follow on Instagram. I am at Keo Kosha, follow at Ajima Mag and at Honeycomb Manila on Instagram to be updated with all of our latest content, but also so that we can drop you a DM if you win. All right, now let's get into the unboxing. Today we have the Nike Air Max Triax 96. All right, Red Road late last year, 2019, we have this shoe, which is kind of like the baby brother to the Air Max 95, came out in 96, right around the time that the 96 Atlanta Olympics happened. And honestly, at the time, this really represented some of the latest tech in the form of full length air. Now the air is hidden in the forefoot, but it is exposed in that Air Max style in the back and this is actually what we used to run in in 1996 which is strange because it's kind of the polar opposite of what we run in today there was a heavy emphasis on air back then and we still have the emphasis on air now but it's more in the form of zoom air when we're talking about performance and nike air and air max really has been used for comfort now and for lifestyle which is uh, just right because this is now a lifestyle shoe in terms of shape the sneaker is not pointy the way that we kind of like these sneakers to be, but I do promise you it does look fire on feet despite that slightly boxy toe. Synthetic leather running all around the sneaker, which is the same as what it used to be. And then there's this tight mesh that runs all around that's on this shoe, it's all the red parts, except for the back, which is kind of in this, they call it synthetic suede, but it's more like a felt-like material. And then around the swoosh area, there's this dark blue panel, kind of an obsidian panel, and that is also in that felt material. Then finally on the toe, there's like this swoosh, and that's also the same felt material. Featured heavily on the shoe, or one of the main features of the shoe is the speed lacing system, which of course we saw in the Air Max 95 making a return I can't remember if it was pioneered in the Air Max 95, but it was cer certainly a mid-90s technology where you could just pull the laces, in this case rope laces, and the entire sneaker would tighten up all at the same time. Now on the outsole, you have this BRS 1000 rubber, which was a new technology at the time, and you see it called out here in the middle of the outsole, just after this big flex groove. and. BRS 1000 was a technology that was for very, very durable outsoles so that you could get more miles in your sneaker. Again, another thing which we don't do anymore today. But yeah, at the time, this was the best tech. And I do have a confession. I picked up two pairs. Yep, so this is the red one and here's the blue one. So let's... Uh, Let's take a moment to unbox these blue ones too. This is the Air Max Triax 96 in the Royal Blue colorway. The Royal Blue colorway is an OG colorway of the Air Max Triax 96. The, the Triax, of course, being a, a running line, and there was a Triax 94 and a few other Triaxes in the Triax family. Now, at the price, at 2,600 pesos, which is what this pair costs, it's such a good price to double up on, especially if you're trying to get to a price, a cart price for your shipping. This is a, a really good pair, especially with the, with the Royal, the Varsity Royal Blue and Gym Red being such classic colors. Now you can mix and match and maybe have, you know, your left shoe be one color and the right shoe be another color. 
these days if you did this it would be considered a collaboration uh, just to have different colors on each sneaker but you know you could also just get two pairs of shoes and wear both um, as for sizing go through the size they are a little bit straight and snug but not so much that I would say to go up half a size especially since you won't be running any marathons or distance runs in this sneaker and you really shouldn't so you shouldn't expect for your forefoot to expand and usually when you're looking for running shoes you're looking for some wiggle room there that's not the case here you really should not be running in retros guys you really shouldn't be running in retros you shouldn't be playing basketball in retros really uh you i'm sure we all know that guy who wants a hoop in his jordan 11s every year Christmas comes around and someone wants a hoop in Jordan 11s. And could you? Yeah, you could. Could you run 10K in this? Yeah, you could. But should you? Probably not. Uh, we, technology has come a long way and we simply run in a different way now. Before, it really was all about cushion in the heel. And that's why the Air Max, all the Air Maxes were kind of designed this way. And then... Later on, we discovered that you don't want to strike with your heel. You want to strike kind of flat with your entire weight before you because striking with your heel actually slows you down if you didn't know. Yeah, what you end up with is a really good pair of lifestyle shoes and I like them. They look fire on feet. Really glad to pick them up. Now, they've been out for about half a year and patients really did save a lot of money because retail, these were... I think 8,000 or 7,000 pesos and on discount at 2,600. It's almost a no-brainer. If you are in the market for a stylish dad style 90s running sneaker, this is an excellent choice. One of the details I love about this blue pair is that one hit of this turquoise aquamarine swoosh on the outsole which is unique to this pair. Uh, there are two more performance things that you should know about this sneaker. One is that they, all, they both come with these anatomical arch supports, which were, which were really done in the 90s. Even the Air Max 90, when you get a retro, comes with these anatomical, anatomical arch supports. And, oh, let's see if I can reach in there and get that. Might be easier in the red one. This beautiful polyurethane insole, which provides a good amount of cushion and a nice plush sock liner there and this cool Air Max Nike Tri-X series tri Air Max Tri-X logo on the insole and then this anatomical arch support with you know it comes with a little bit of tape and it, it tapes right in like that like that somehow <laughs> all right so that's the Air Max Tri-X 96 now before we talk about some other stuff I want to talk a bit about the box because this retro box is really something that speaks to me and is special for me because I remember this box when I think of my childhood and going to sports stores. This was the Nike box that I would see and I would look at. And you know this, even the layout and stuff, as I would later on go on to be an artist and a, and a layout artist, a graphic artist, this was still very much the style that I would design in. Center heavy, lots of breathing space, justification is perfect or absolute and then lots of kern all caps i'm sure if, you, if you've seen any of my designer layout work you know especially in the 90s to 2000s it all really looked like this um, and a lot of that i think comes from a memory i have imprinted in my brain of living in singapore at the time and having people come over and visit us in our home and when they would do that my brother and i would sleep in my parents house uh, in my parents bedroom and our guests would stay in our bedroom because uh, we had a bunk bed and i remember coming home one day from school going into my bedroom to get some toys or something and seeing boxes like this in that room and thinking wow they're air maxes in my room and you know i mean it's it might sound silly and it might sound stupid but that was a big thing for me all of my heroes ran in air you know in nike shoes and i would go to the stores and i'd look at them but i would never be able to get a pair and my parents didn't get me nike airs until i was a teenager 
I just wanted to share. It's a moment locked into my head, and I think I'll remember for forever. All right, so I guess that's one of, the, one of the great branding moments for Nike for me. I still remember what the color of the light in the room was. Ah, all right, enough of that. Uh, maybe you guys have experiences like this as well. I know for most people it's about Jordans, but I, while I did really adore Michael Jordan and loved him throughout the 90s and throughout his career, uh, I was a runner. I was a runner as a kid, and so running shoes really were something that spoke to me even until now. As much as I love basketball shoes, I love runners, and stylistically, they frankly go with more outfits, especially now. Uh, if you're looking at retros, I would say there are probably more outfits that go with retro runners than go with basketball shoes. One man's opinion. If you disagree, tell me in the comments. I would love to hear from you. My name is Keo Kosha. Remember to comment your t-shirt size. We are giving away those t-shirts very soon. Next week, we will be announcing the design. We already did the design, but the t-shirt guys have to approve that they can actually do it. And then uh, we've spoken to them and we actually want to do something different for this t-shirt run and use surplus shirts. So they will all be good quality. They will not be secondhand, but they will be surplus. And that's one of the ways that we want to a, help out a small business, but also do as much as we can to limit the wastefulness. Follow along on Instagram. I am at Keo Kosha. Follow at Ajima Mag and at Honeycomb Communities, Honeycomb Manila on Instagram. Uh, yeah, all the links are down below. Please do follow. It goes a long way for us. Click, click the thumbs up and watch some more of our videos. And please get your friends to subscribe. That's one of the ways that we'll get up to more of these giveaways faster and get to that nice cause giveaway that we have scheduled for the 1,000 viewership, uh, 1,000 subscriber mark. All right. I wish you good luck. I wish you good health. If you have to go outside, wear a mask and wash your hands. Peace.